Today, the city opened a new temporary shelter for migrants in the Edgewater neighborhood. It's the latest in a number of locations opening to ease the flux of people seeking a better life. And as NBC 5's Patrick Fazio tells us, neighbors seem divided over it. Today, busloads of migrants started arriving at the Broadway Armory in the Edgewater neighborhood after sleeping at Chicago police stations. One migrant says he and his wife and two young kids came to the U.S. to escape violence in Venezuela. This is really shameful, and I'm really glad that you are here to raise your voice. Neighbors are concerned how community programs and classes at the Armory are impacted. Very happy that we're able to create a safe shelter for new arrivals to be in. It's a real humanitarian crisis, so I, I think it's a great thing. I just really want to know where my kid can go to summer camp next summer. A day camp for kids at the Armory has changed to field trips only for the rest of the summer, and other programs are moving to different locations. The problem of undocumented immigrants is not going to stop. So what are you going to do next? Are you going to close all park districts? We worked very hard to make sure that summer programming stayed in place and also that the senior center remained in place. Alderwoman Lenny Mana Hoppenworth says the armory will house 250 migrants. Then the city will reevaluate it as a shelter in six months. In terms of Chicago Park District programming, I would suggest that you go to the Chicago Park District website to see what's available for your each group or your interest. The mayor's office says it's looking for more potential shelter with almost 1,000 migrants still sleeping in police stations and the airport. And more buses are expected to arrive from the southern border. Reporting in Edgewater, Patrick Fazio, NBC5 News. Thanks to Patrick.